in this particular video we will talk about the syllabus of applied mathematics which is a part of semester 2 and which is applicable to all the semesters means all students who are in second semester whether they belong to mechanical production computer computer engineering big data industrial electronics they all are having the mathematics part 2 which is also known as applied mathematics now subject code is uh, different for as per their stream so i will not go in that we will discuss about the basics of applied mathematics and what is the actual syllabus of applied mathematics we have to study in semester number 2 that will discuss one by one for all the disciplines now when we come up to the uh, syllabus part there are total five chapters you can see over here so we have to study all these five chapters now chapter number 1 to chapter number 4 the syllabus is common all students whereas the chapter number 5 is different for all students for mechanical production automobile the syllabus will be different and for computer electrical big data the syllabus will be different so we will discuss the syllabus the chapters one by one make a note of that the syllabus will not be same for each and every one only the last chapter is different for other streams this is the syllabus of mechanical automobile uh, civil engineering and i am also having the syllabus of computer computer engineering computer technology and big data at the same time let us discuss the syllabus one by one let us talk about the chapters one by one so chapter number 1 is differential calculus the chapter number 1 is differential calculus now in differential calculus that is in chapter number 1 we have three topics to study that is functions and limits then we have derivative then we have application of derivative these three topics we have to study now functions uh, we have studied at the in standard 9 and 10 also so on the basis of the functions uh, we can go for the limits okay uh, the limits is uh, the simplest part in this particular subject so we once we understand the functions the odd function the even function on the basis of that we can uh, we can make the limit problems and once we understand the limit then we can go for the derivative in derivative there are several standard formulas are there on the basis of that we can uh, we can go for this derivative part and we have to calculate the derivative of various functions that is inverse function inverse means inverse trigonometric function then log logarithmic function then exponential function so these are the different functions of which we have to find out the derivative then once we understood the derivative then simply we then we can go for the application of derivative we can apply the derivative which we have studied on different different concept that we can apply the derivative to calculate the tangent and normal to uh, to solve the equation of tangent and normal to calculate the maxima minima to find out the radius of curvature so these are the applications of the derivative so once we understood or once we studied this derivative part then simply we can apply this derivative on this various parts means tangent and normal maxima minima and radius of curvature so what we can understand over here that all the topics are interrelated to each other if we understand the limit on the basis of limit we can get the derivative and once we understand the derivative then only we can go for the application of derivative if you don't know about if you can't uh, solve the derivative problems then you can't so, so you can't go for the application of derivative problems also because the same derivative concept will be applied in application of derivative so this is all about the chapter number 1 in which we have to study the three topics functions and limits derivative then application of derivative now chapter number 2 or unit number 2 is integral calculus now in this chapter number 2 we have to study the integration now opposite of derivative is known as the integration in basic way in simplest way 
द अपोजिट ऑफ डेरिवेटिव इज नोन एज द इंटीग्रेशन ओके सो इन चैप्टर नंबर टू वी हैव टू स्टडी द सिंपल इंटीग्रेशन इन चैप्टर नंबर टू और यूनिट नंबर टू and we have to find out the integration by using the different different methods of different different functions inverse function logarithmic function in exponential function or year uh, of different different functions of different different type of questions we have to find out the integration so for that we have uh, three types of uh, integration methods that is integration by substitution integration by parts and integration by partial fraction so in chapter number 2 we will be studying the basic integration formulas and on the basis of that we will try to solve the simple simple example of by using the integration then we will apply the different different methods solve the integration or to get the integration of different different type of functions such as inverse function logarithmic function exponential function trigonometric functions and we can apply the partial fraction also now chapter number 3 is the application of definite integration what is the meaning of definite integration now chapter number 2 or can also be called as indefinite integration now what is the meaning of definite integration when we are having the limits in integration that is known as the indefinite integration when we have the limits or when we have been given the limits a to b that will be known as indefinite integration and when we don't have the limit when the limit has not been specified and simply we have to find out the integration so that is known as definite integration so in chapter number 3 we have to study the definite integration and the application of indefinite integration we have to study the basics of indefinite integration in chapter number 3 and we have to study the application of indefinite integration once we are able to solve the this integration part this definite part then we can go for the indefinite part simply we have to apply the limit and once we understand this integration and indefinite part then we can apply the integration on certain applications we can use the integration to calculate the volume to calculate the area of the two cow to calculate the area of the cow so these are the applications of the integration so once we have we studied the integration then we can apply the integration to calculate area to calculate volume of the given cow or resolution so this is about the chapter number 3 now chapter number 4 is the first order first degree differential equation overall what we can say we have to study the differential equation and out of which we have to study the first order and first degree differential equation only there are higher order differential equation are also there uh, heat equation wave equation but that we don't have in our syllabus right now at diploma level so we have to study the first order and first degree differential equation only now in chapter number 4 that is in differential equation we will try to understand the basic concept of differential equation and once we understand the integration once we understand this integration and understand this derivative derivative then only we can go for the differential equation because differential equation requires the knowledge of both derivative and integration then we have to find, we have to calculate the order and degree of the given differential equation now how to calculate the order and degree that for that we have the standard formula that we will see when we will talk about this chapter number 4 then solution of a differential equation once we have constructed a differential equation or we have been given a differential equation then how to how to solve that differential equation how to get the solution of the differential equation that we'll see in this chapter number 4 now for solving the differential equation we have the two method over here we have variable separation method and linear differential equation method so we have two methods to solve the differential equation to get the solution of differential equation we have one more topic in differential equation that is we can again application of differential equation to engineering related problem so once we under, understood the differential equation then we can apply that difference in differential equation for various applications up to chapter number 4 the syllabus will be same for all the branches all the disciplines now uh, you can see over here i have listed the important topics which we have to study 
in all the chapters over here now chapter number 1 and chapter to chapter number 4 the syllabus will be same for all the branches means the differential calculus integral calculus application of this indefinite integration and first order first degree differential equation now the chapter number 5 will be different for mechanical production automobile civil engineering for cos for computer engineering computer technology big data industrial engineering the syllabus the chapter number 5 will be numerical methods so in chapter number 4 what mechanical production automobile and civil students will uh, learn basics of probability distribution and the three types of probability distribution binomial poisson and normal that will be studied by the mechanical production automobile and civil students whereas the computer and uh, we can say other branches industrial electronics computer engineering technology big data they will be having the numerical method they will also have the two topics that is solution of algebraic equations and numerical solution of simultaneous equations in solution of algebraic equations means some algebraic equations has been given to us the the algebraic equation can be quadratic equation that can be cubic equation or that can be linear equation there are three type of algebraic equations are there so that algebraic equation we have to solve by using bisection method regular falsi method and newton raphson method so we have to study these three methods for solving the algebraic equations one more topic is there in numerical methods that is numerical solution of simultaneous equations now you have already studied that how to solve the simultaneous given equations two equation two unknown by using cramer rule three equation three unknown by using cramer uh, cramer rule or some other method you already know how to solve the given simultaneous equations so in this numerical method you have to solve the given simultaneous equations two equation two unknown or three equation three unknown by using gauss elimination method by jacobi's method and by using gauss seidel methods so this is all about the syllabus of applied mathematics of all the branches okay chapter chapter 1 to chapter 4 the syllabus will be same and chapter 5 will be different for other branches that also i have discussed so if you have any doubt related to the applied mathematics syllabus you can put your doubt in the comment box we will try to resolve your doubt